Hi everybody, Bobby from the Rabbitry Center. And today I'm gonna to do something a little bit different. I'm gonna to try to do this safely, but I'm on my way back from a hay farmer and I wanted to talk a little bit about that. You know, over the years we tried growing our own hay and you know, we succeeded after several failures and it's important because you're gonna have different kinds of weather sometimes. You're gonna have a lot of rain some years. Some years you'll have a drought and these are different challenges. And you know, maybe with a lot of rain, your seeds may puddle up or pool up into certain areas and you're gonna have all these bare areas when it's too dry, you may lose your hay because that dries out really fast. Hay is so important. It's the number one thing that you need for your rabbits because rabbits have or require a high fiber diet. So that means, you know, even if you're, you're gonna look on your bag of feed, and the most important things to look for is protein. You're gonna want at least 16%, especially if you're gonna be breeding rabbits and having litters around, you're gonna want 60% protein. And if you can get 16% fiber, um, that's sufficient or higher. So in most cases, uh, we're gonna supplement our fiber percentages because we'd like something higher, like around 20% for, for health. And you can, you can use hay to help with your rabbit's diet. So getting back to what I was originally saying, growing my own hay over the years, you know, you can, you can get yourself a scythe, you can grow even just any area in your yard and you can start growing your own hay. Let it grow up and that's a terrific starter. You know, you're, all you have to do is just cut it and turn it and dry it and bale it. And you can use anything from a box to a Rubbermaid garbage can to even a, a self-made baler, a hand baler, which is a really neat uh, contraption. And you know, you're gonna wanna make sure that you have a stockpile of hay in a shed, in a garage, in a barn, even in a tarp, somewhere where you can keep this stuff dry and clean. And you're gonna wanna feed a handful in the morning, a handful in the evening. And you know, over the years, I've tried so many different hay feeders to try because it's aggravating when you're paying top dollar, especially if you're not buying your hay from a farmer and you experience this, you know, 200% markup at the store. And these feed stores will have a trailer in the back holding a bunch of hay. And you can get yourself some straw. Now, if I were to buy straw, now buying straw from a store isn't as bad. Your straw is going to be half the price and we don't go through a lot of straw. Only with our litters and maybe in the winter time we'll go through a couple bales of straw, you know, stuffing the, the hide box, stuffing the, sh the, the cages when it comes to freezing temperatures. But we go through a lot of hay and you're going to go through about a bale of hay uh, for every three rabbits. You're probably going to go through a bale of hay a month. For the winter time I just went ahead and purchased a dozen bales to get us through the winter. When you're purchasing your hay from a farmer, it feels like a steal compared to what they're selling it for in the store. I mean, and when, you, when you're seeing hay below the cages, you don't get aggravated the same way when you're you know, spending $15 a bale on it. And over the years, we've tried different hay feeders and you can build them out of cage hardware cloth, you can build them out of cage wire, you can build them out of um, you know, just wood, luon. And we just recently put out a video that shows you how to make a hay feeder. And the, the hay feeder that has the Luan strips, the three Luan strips, that is my absolute favorite hay feeder. It holds hay. You won't find the hay at the bottom, below the cage floor bottom. And well, you know, of course you're always gonna find some, a little bit of waste, but that's probably the best feeder that wastes the least amount. You know, these hay feeders are made out of wood and often folks don't even want to use them because the, the rabbits are gonna chew them. Well, your rabbits do need to chew something and it, it's important to provide your rabbits with something like a hide box or a resting board or even a hay feeder. And these rabbits don't mind. They're not gonna say, give me a new hay feeder, this one's chewed on. You want your rabbits to be able to keep everything moving and that hay, that dried clean hay is just excellent fiber and you know over the years we collected hay farmers uh it, it took years to find some good ones and i got a hay farmer now ben this guy's my favorite because he does round bales and hay bales and he always has them 
and this year it was a little late. I told him I was a little nervous because we, we were trying to beat the snow and we're supposed to get snow in the next couple days. It already flurried a couple times, but this year we just got lucky. You know, hunting season, the rut was, we didn't have any snow during the rut and it just wasn't even frozen. And we're just now experiencing frozen temps. This morning it was 20 degrees and you gotta get your hay early. You wanna make sure you contact these people because when you're trying to pull a trailer full of hay and uh, you know, all that through the snow, um, that could be trouble. So you really wanna make sure you're not fighting the, the elements. So, so over the years, or the next, you know, if you can try to contact these farmers using social media, you can find people selling hay on Craigslist and even if you were to just network using Facebook you know ask maybe get on a rabbit group ask where folks in your state or in your area are buying their hay so you can finally stockpile your hay because getting through the winter you're gonna want to you know store as, as much as you possibly can so you know that's something you don't have to worry about and you can keep your rabbits healthy and hay you know just like the hay feeder that we were talking about the rabbits chewing on, hay will fight malocclusion. The, the uh, you know, those rabbit's teeth, they never stop growing. So we have to make sure that we give something to fight their teeth, their ever growing teeth. And hay is a terrific combat, uh, what am I trying to say? Combative, no, that's not the word. Anyways, hay helps. Our system is scaled towards rabbits and whitetails because we harvest our whitetails for venison and then we have our rabbit meat for our white meat. Right now our feed course is on special. It's 33% off at, as an introductory rate because uh, we're adding a lot of videos to it um, for the next couple months and we're going to really critique it and make it even better and once that's done after the new year uh, the price will go up. So take advantage of this because your course won't expire and you'll have that introductory rate. You'll have a valuable course. So folks, you know, they were asking, you know, if, if it was gonna be launched for free and just so much time, just editing alone. It was 100 hours just of editing alone. And not to mention the spring, summer, and fall, all the time it took to grow. And, and then the years that of, ex of experience that I failed at certain things. And so, you know, folks often like, why in the world, I'm sure you can go to the library or you can get on the internet and find a lot of this information for free. Well, you can, but it takes time. It takes years. And then you have to, and it's all theoretical. You have to, you know, it's trial and error. And you're gonna have to fail at these things in order to succeed. If you wanna learn fast from somebody who's already been through it and uh, has a, has a business where I can show you how to ship these products out because that's another thing in the in the course we show you how to ship out these products not just grow them I mean you could you could possibly start a farm specializing in uh, all these products that we're growing so today we're actually getting our Christmas tree uh, the boys are meeting us at the house at two o'clock we're gonna go to the tree farm and we're gonna cut down our Christmas tree and I'm actually gonna hold on to this this hay and wait for the guys and they're gonna help me stack and fill the shed, so. But hope you guys find a hay farmer. Please let me know if you have any questions uh, about hay or, or the feed course. Thank you for taking the time to share any of your comments. Those that, that take the course and, you know, maybe something's missing, I'll be sure to add it and uh, take advantage of this introductory rate because this is the best price. And after a couple months, the price will go up uh, because our course will be completed and because we're gonna add more videos to it and the value will go up. So we wanted to get this introductory rate to have folks share their opinions. So please don't, don't hesitate. You can email me at bobby at therabbitrecenter.com and or you can just comment on any video. Uh, in most cases, I'm able to, to respond. And if, as long as your questions are short, um, because thousands come in every year, and if they're short, I can answer them. But when folks leave a, a novel, I, it's tough, I'm not able to, to spend the time reading all that so but thank you again for commenting thank you again for reaching out and i wish you the best of luck happy holidays and we'll see you on the next video